Martin. Now I turn to uh, Elena. Uh, everybody knows you really as a big promoter of the uh, road safety and somebody who, who cares a lot about the subject. I have the same question to you. Is Vision Zero a dream or a reality? What would you like the governments to do in order to achieve that? Now, Martin was talking about the focus also on the young drivers. What would you suggest to focus on? Please. Um, I think for every country is different. And uh, I think that if we all uh, see the commitment that we have to do, the member states and the political will, together, it's uh, funding. We need funding. It's very important to have political will and funding. Why? Because we need safe infrastructure, we need safe vehicles, we need safe road use. My opinion is that the legislation has to be strict. For example, there are so many examples that the road safety for uh, the people through the year even if they're in uh, the cities, if they're uh, vulnerable users, like um, now we have so many scooters and so many bicycles, and we see so much more accidents in the city than the big roads that already uh, they're improved. So I think, for example, 30 kilometers per hour, it's very important because safe speed limits must apply for different road types. Uh, I think the commission, it's not binding, let's say, for 30 kilometers an hour, but it's very important to introduce this measure because it's proven that uh, it works. Look Bilbao or other countries that they use this measure, how they reduce big accidents. Another thing which is very important is to make sure that the legislation will cover a lot of different things. We see countries that uh, young people, they take, uh, for example, the driving license. They buy. They don't know how to drive and they buy the driving license. Or young people that um, they don't have an education when they drive in the big roads. Why? Because we insist that the education has to start from school. I think there are so many that we can do if there is political will. From the other side, we insist that in Europe, we, if we have an agency, a transport agency, and we spoke about that many times, even with uh, Mr. Baldwin before or Mr. Christian Smith now. It's important because it's proven that the agencies, not only for the road safety, but for um, other agencies uh, for transportation, that they already took actions and they have a great results because they coordinate for example, in planes or boats. We need, I think, an agency here for uh, transportation. And the truth is that um, it's very important to think about also the fatigue of the drivers. They're small little things, and also justice. When there is a big um, accident, we need justice. In our report, we put these uh, four, let's say, pillars that I mentioned before, safe uh, road use, uh, safe vehicles, safe infrastructure, but also we need awareness. We ask to have a year for uh, road safety to make sure that we will exchange ideas, and we will be more strict to the member states to take more serious the deaths, and especially the deaths of uh, young people. So I think that if we all work together and we have a legislation that will cover and will be strict for many things uh, that right now are not um, uh, under legislation, or there is a legislation, but they don't uh, implement. And the political will for make sure that this um, report that we did at the European Parliament, that 
uh, shows all the keys and all the indicators for making our life better and political will. I will insist on that. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, um, Elena. And um, you have highlighted um, uh, very much the importance of the political will, but at the same time also the, the funding in order to uh, make this political will a reality. And you have also listed a number of um, important steps, including the awareness, including the speed limits, uh, including the, um, uh, the need to uh, explore the uh, added value of an agency. And um, Elena, what do you think? Uh, will in that triangle, and talking about the vehicles, do you think that the um, new intelligent solutions, do you think that uh, the uh, new innovations that are being part of the vehicles, would they make a difference from the point of view of road safety? And how can we make them all available for uh, uh, those who are buying the cars? First of all, I would like to say that it is a great pleasure to join this year edition in the EU, EU Road Safety Results Conference and a big honor to share this panel with uh, Mr. Bog and also uh, Minister uh, Kupka. And everything that they're saying, it's really touching. And this is the way it should be in all the member states. As we mentioned before, we need political will, uh, and this has to be translated with bold actions. And at the same time, we mention awareness and education, we mention safe roads, we mention that the highways already, because they improved of finance, uh, they have better results, but in the cities vulnerable, cases like uh, the people, the, the pedestrians, or the people that they use bicycles, or the people that they use scooters, motorbikes, they're more in danger. So I think innovation and um, uh, the new electrical vehicles, for example, that they're coming is a solution for, uh, in Greece we say, we catch with one, two birds. It's like, uh, not only for safety, but also for the environment. We have to think about these two things, because the funding has to come for all the safety, but also the transition to the Green Deal. So if we really want to go to zero uh, vision, and if we want to improve, definitely we have to use all the new technology and we have to make sure that uh, this is going to go along also with awareness and education. Um, but unfortunately, I think the most important thing for safety is the traditional speed, alcohol, um, uh, distraction with uh, the mobile phone, so, yes, definitely will help, but we need to protect our kids or the people that they use uh, the vehicle, first of all, for the uh, real reasons that we lose lives. So, yes, in, in the innovation, but we still have to focus because it's not obvious um, uh, all these that we mentioned before. Thank you very much, um, Elena. I think that there is uh, probably nobody in this room who would um, disagree with you, and um, I think that these are exactly the important points that need to be taken into account. Uh, with the political will there, it is also for the politicians not to do only the popular things, but to do the right things, as you said. I think that was very well said. Elena, what would be the two things for you which you would consider most important? All that uh, Mr. Bock mentioned, it's very important, so I will agree with all of that. Uh, but if I have to choose two more, I will say, first, using less cars, and this means reducing the risk of crashes. We need to reinforce the public transport, make it more sustainable, safe, healthier transport rules. Um, and the second thing I mentioned before, the European Parliament call 
uh, the Commission to set up a new agency on road transport to support sustainable, safe, and smart road transport. I think they should consider. So, last but not least, we have to make sure that the member states, uh, they will implement the safe system approach and take bold actions with political will and um, funding. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, um, Elena. And, uh, and I think that um, uh, this, um, this panel and our distinguished panelists have contributed uh, quite a lot for the uh, good start of the, of the day and the good start of the discussions uh, and have pointed out uh, many uh, important elements that can actually make a difference on the ground. Uh, just, to, just to recap, uh, obviously the better infrastructure, the, uh, the speed limits, but particularly considering the 30 kilometer speed limit in the cities, the uh, awareness campaigns and educating people, uh, the um, focus also on uh, better public uh, transport, the uh, uh, important to look into whether a safety agency can be warranted, and I would also like to highlight from before the importance of uh, young people and young drivers, and of course uh, all and all, all this can only happen when there is a political will, funding, and the ability to enforce it. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to very much thank uh, the panel, not only for what uh, they uh, said today and uh, kicked off this discussion, but also for uh, the, the work that they have been doing uh, over the years in order to promote uh, the road safety. And, uh, and I think that uh, it is everybody's responsibility and everybody shares that in this room, but we are also needing uh, people who were today in the panel to take the lead and to show the way. So, Martin, Elena, Emil, thank you all very much and please give them a very warm applause.